welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome and thanks for stopping by today I've got another DIY video for you I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your very own crystallized glass bottles and jars so this project is super easy it's cheap and it's actually pretty fun so if you're looking for a little more pizzazz in your life if you don't have enough crystals lying around just yet then stay tuned and let's jump into it so let's kick this off by talking about supplies. Now a lot of the stuff you see here is optional, but I'm gonna list everything that we use down in the description below. The main things that you're gonna need to complete this project are borax, some jars, which can be from anywhere really, and some larger containers to float the jars in. So now for the fun part, once you've assembled all of your jars, it's time to rough up the glass so that your crystals have something to adhere to. We're going to be using a power sander and some ear protection. <laughs> um, so we'll just be using 100 grit sandpaper to rough up the edges of our glass. If you don't have a power sander, it's not a big deal. You can do this by hand. It's just going to take a little more elbow grease. Um, you can even use a nail file, which we found worked great for sanding down the top edges of some of our more narrow jars. So get creative with it, try out a few different techniques and see what you like. Once your jars are all prepped, you can move to the next step. Bring six cups of water to boil on your stove. You might wanna use an old pan for this, one that you don't use for cooking. When your water starts to boil, then you'll add three cups of borax. Now this is gonna turn cloudy at first, but you're gonna bring it back to a boil and it will um, clear up over time. So while you're waiting for this to come back to a boil, you will need to stir it periodically to make sure that none of the borax is burning to the bottom of your pan. So just give it a few stirs and wait and wait and wait and it will get clearer and clearer and you know that it's almost ready, it's almost ready, and we're done. <laughs> Let's move on. Now you'll want to transfer that hot, um, almost boiling liquid into your large container that you're going to float your jars in. Then you're going to add some food coloring, and this is obviously what's going to give your crystals their color. If you're using food coloring and not like a soap dye or a clothing dye like RIT dye, then make sure you use a little bit extra. Um, I've heard as much as a half of a bottle if you really want some deep coloration to your crystals. Then you'll want to prep your jar for floating. Now you can technically just set the jar in the uh, mixture and fill it with a little bit of water and it will float. But we wanted to stabilize it a little more so it didn't get stuck to the sides. So I ended up just wrapping the lip of it with a pipe cleaner and then wrapping that around a ruler to sort of stabilize the jar. Once we were ready to float the jar, we used another cup to pour just clear water into the base of it to sort of weight it down. Make sure if you're doing this that you don't uh, mix the clear water with your borax solution, otherwise you'll dilute it too much and you won't get any crystals. You can also just pour the borax solution into your jar or fully submerge it and then you'll have crystals that form on the inside of the jar and the outside. We ended up doing this both ways and we liked the way it came out um, both times. So it's, it's really just up to your personal preference. The final step is to cover this container with some foil um, or a towel, just anything that can sort of keep the heat in and slow the cooling process. Then you're gonna wanna set it aside and let it cool overnight or at least for six hours. So now for the big reveal, let's pull those puppies out and see what we made. If your jars did manage to get stuck to the sides at all, don't worry, just give them a little shake and they should dislodge pretty easily. set your jars in a safe place to dry. Be careful because the crystals are still pretty weak when the jars are wet. Once they are dry, they're gonna be pretty secure to the sides of it. 
If you plan on moving your jars around a lot, we found that you can make the crystals even more secure by using a little bit of CA or super glue. Just drizzle this over your crystal cl clusters and allow it to dry and that should make them like concrete solid onto the side of the jar. And there you have it. Now you have some beautiful crystallized glass bottles, and jars, and bowls. I hope that you spread these all around to your friends and family members and stick them all around your house because they're super cool. I also um, made these candle holders to match. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to do this, but if you'd like um, for me to do another video showing you this easy candle holder DIY, then just put a comment down below and I will certainly put that up for you. But until the next one, over and out. Thank you.